In this video, I want to talk to you about the Starlet Punch. I have eight cards to talk to you about and tell you some ideas for using this. So this punch is going to punch out six different stars, and they actually are all different because if you look at them, some of them are six-pointed, some are five-pointed. Um, this is a fatter five-pointed one, a skinnier five-pointed one. The sizes are all different, so you get quite a variety with this thing. I've punched a sample page. And on the sample page here, you can see the stars that it actually punches out. And then I wanted to show you the configuration of what's left behind for the holes. Because many times we make a, a project where it's actually the hole that we want, not the piece that's come out of the hole. So you could put a piece of designer paper or gold foil or something else behind the holes and let it show through. All right, um, here is the first of the eight samples that I was going to show you. It's just a real quick little East, uh, Christmas card. I did some, do some embossing on the green behind. And then this is just the largest star out of the punch. And I put a little rhinestone in the center of that thing. So it's very easy and quick to make a card with this star punch. This one uses just one of the stars. Here's a card that I made that uses all the stars and just plasters the whole front um, like a little constellation up there in the sky. Lots of gold on this card, so if you see the gold shining through the blue down here, this is actually some foil that's in the paper. And then I watercolored over it to get that blue to shine through to kind of give it a star look. Here's another one that uses several different sizes. So we've got this cute little penguin down here, and he's looking up at one bright star and lots of little stars down here in the sky. This is a 4th of July card that uses many punched pieces of those two five-pointed stars. And then just alternates the color on which background it's sitting on. And I don't know how well you can see, but each of those pieces, the red, white, and blue, they are all texture embossed also to give it kind of the look of a flag that's waving. Here's another one that was also made for 4th of July. And what I wanted to show with this one is that even though they're not the same uh, exact shape, that they do layer real nicely. So you can create some nice layered stars with that. And of course it works on all different materials. So here the striped one is a designer paper. This is a piece of vellum and here's some gold foil. It works real nicely. And this is a way to show that it works very nicely for a masculine card as well as a feminine card. So on my sample page here, this is showing the configuration of all of them and they're kind of bunched in together. So on this next card, what I did was I, I took my square piece of paper that I punched the holes out of and here's where instead of using the pieces that came out, I'm actually using the hole itself and I put silver foil behind it and then I actually punched the white out of uh, a circle and I did a scallop circle behind it. So we're using the holes on this card. Now, there's one more way to use holes, and that's to use them as a stencil. So what I did on this was I punched out the pieces from a piece of vellum, and then I used the holes, and you can see the discoloration around the holes here. I sponged uh, Versamark through the holes to get the background stamping on this card right here. So this is just a very subtle background that was created by, by inking through the holes. So I hope I gave you a lot of ideas for using this. This is in the catalog right now. So right now in the catalog, this is just a standalone punch. Right now we don't sell a stamp set that coordinates with it at all, but there are lots of fun things that you can do with the stars that you get with the Starlet Punch. So thanks for watching. I hope you got some great ideas for using stars on cards. Leave some comments if you've got additional ideas for using stars that I haven't thought of. You can follow my daily stamping on my Facebook page. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button now so you get notifications next time I post a video.